Hey guys, it's Grubman, back with part two of the airsoft arsenal that I own. Um, so let's move on to the submachine guns. I used to have a soft air cyber gun, uh, 44 Magnum Desert Eagle, but I gave that to my friend for the Modern Warfare 2 MP5 on here. But I'm gonna start with my Black Ops style, um, uh, MP5K. Okay, so I have to change the mag between them because he didn't have his other mag for the. He gave actually both of these to me because he didn't really want this one, and then he got BB stuck in that barrel. So he's like, "Who oh, want to wear a soft gun? Have my Desert Eagle." So, ta da! Uh, I modified this one. I cut out this notch right up here so that it's like on Black Ops where it actually sticks up there, like a real MP5. So, okay, so it's a Crossman, it's another Crossman Stinger R71, probably can't see that, yeah, R71, um, safety's right here, uh, I do not have enough light, here, let me turn the light on, oop, I dropped you guys, I am sorry, okay, light, okay, so you got the, Safe, semi, and full. Uh, I lost the front sight post to this one because this one pops off. That one doesn't. Um, I took the rails off. It's got rails like that one, but it looks more like an MP5 or a UMP45. Um, it's got a grip that comes off. Usually there would be a pin in there, but I lost, I lost that too. And it comes with a stock. So, you can give it the classical MP5 look with a grip off. Classical MP5. I can see that notch better. So, yeah, it's got the safety on the other side looking thing. Um, Magalise, just like an AK Magalise, the usual MP5 Magalise. The magazine's the battery, the scope is the magazine, it's kind of retarded, but it's a gun. So now moving on to my, oh yeah, um, I'll show you the silencer on my next one because it's actually meant for the Modern Warfare 2. So, here's my Modern Warfare 2 MP5K. I got my grip on there, doesn't come with a grip. Um... Magazine battery. This is that one's magazine, and this silencer, this mock silencer, is that one. So I have not modified this one yet. I don't know if I will. Probably won't, because it was a hassle for that other one. I did it with a Swiss Army knife, which is kind of smart on my part. So same safety spot and everything, but the grip. If you'll notice. It's different on the two guns. <clears throat> one goes at a slant, and one goes straight up. And so there's less room between the trigger and this micro release on this one. So, that's that. This one comes in the stock too, but Thomas's brother broke it off because he's a jerk. Um, so, the silencer is just a barrel extension, supposed to make it more accurate. I do not think so at all. So you just screw it on. It's nice for looks. All it really does is slow the beat down. It does make it more accurate and straight, but who cares? This one doesn't even shoot though, because if you look down the hole, red BB in there, sounds rough. I can't believe how smooth the video is on this. It's only a 2.5 megapixel. Um, and then BB stuck in there. Yeah, yellow BB. But, overall, fun prop gun. Gonna paint it black. Got no sights. Um, but, uh, trigger's black. This is all plastic, except the barrel. Usually, you know, usual crossman stuff. So... This, uh, 
Next submachine gun is my favorite gun that I have. It is the Combat Zone Umarex Mag 9. It is beastly and bodacious. So, um, it's got a ridiculous orange tip, which is like an adapter for a silencer, I'm guessing. Um, uh, it's, <laughs> the funny thing is, it's battery powered. Literally. Six double A's power this thing. But, there's the mechanism here. The wirings. Uh, I, I don't know if that's really there on the gun, but, I don't care. Uh, to get the stock out, yes, it does fold out. It's a Umarex. What do you expect? It's got the full features. Uh, it's cool. Cool thing. Uh, there's a cutout on the stock, so it's more comfortable for your thumb when it's folded in. I find that really cool. Uh, so, you push up, and then pull out, and then it'll pop straight out. There's the thing. kind of sticks out. It's kind of annoying. But, um, there it's folded out. Sights. Uh, I have to have the stock folded in. Just fold it in, press the circular button, and then push. Ta-da! Fold it in. Okay. So the sights are actually pretty accurate. But what I usually do is I use the red, the dot sight from this, and put it on this. It usually falls off because I forgot I lost a piece of this too. Man, look at me losing stuff left and right. So let me get this on real quick. I know this is kind of blackish red for you, but it's going to work. It's worth it because I am putting on a red dot sight. Crap. I dropped you again. Alright. Watch the process of me putting on the dot, dot sight. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, come on. Come on. Stubborn piece of crap. Okay. Five minutes later, you got. I'm so fumbly. Dot sight. Which is a crap dot sight. It's for looks, and that's it. So. How? MP9. Magazine release, just like a pistol. Magazine drops out. BBs. Throw them in there. Wind it. Pow, pow, you're ready to go. Hooray! Let's go shoot some noobs. I'm just joking. Okay, so on to the final gun that I have. It's the Crossman Stinger. Another, R another Stinger. It's... R34, so you can barely see that. So it's an M4 Springer, you can tell. Safety, it's got a for fun full auto, just for the lulls. Pull the trigger, pow. This one I have retired because the barrel is cracked and it's unsafe to shoot. Um, orange tip, sights. I recommend for anyone who gets this gun to take out the loop sight or paint it black because it's just a nuisance if you don't. So, my sights as of right now are that. Like, spray and pray, man. Uh, the stock comes off, and it folds in and out. So, yeah, it, uh, it comes with an extra magazine, and that sight, that dot sight, which is good for nothing, because you can't see it over this. You can't take this off, which is annoying. But, it's got a mock... Uh, release thing, uh, rail system for grips, uh, sling mount, sling mount, slings that come with a gun are completely crap, don't use them, uh, uh, mag release, pop the mag out, BB's gone there, this one's broken, there's a door, slides out, um, so, then you, this is an odd mechanism to do it, so you bring it down, lock it, and then shake to get the magazine through the little hole. Um, I dropped this mag too much, so it's broken. It's a fun gun, and I'm going to paint it black for a prop. Ta-da! So, uh, the next, probably the next Airsoft video that you'll see is me unboxing, uh, Double Eagle, uh, G36C. Because that's what I'm getting with my $30.
daughter, so, um, Airsoft Arsenal, goodbye.